Let me give you an example of how we put artificial intelligence to play in the world of pharmacovigilance. Let me take a personal example. I'm speaking with you today, but I flew in last night from the East Coast and I had a couple of glasses of wine. I had a late night flight coming in. I took my medicines and I went to sleep. I woke up this morning and I had a really bad headache. It so happened that I was actually at the nurses giving blood and I happened to mention this to the nurse. Oh, by the way, I was also sitting waiting for my uh, turn and while I was on it, I was on Twitter and I actually put on a tweet uh, on this as well. Those two are what's called adverse events um, in the pharmaceutical industry and it's actually a requirement by companies, by pharmaceutical companies to be able to source all that information, to compile it and then to be able to report it to regulators. So think about it, I just put out two adverse events, it's actually the same event, they said different twice. One went through social media, one went through a form on an email or some other documentation in through the medical system. And you've got a pharmaceutical company at the back end of that that has to actually pull all this information together from many, many different sources and then be able to compile that. Now, let's actually even take it one step further. When you compile it, you have to report it to the regulators and rules are different for different countries. So in the US, if you hear of something, you have to report it. In Japan, you're actually required to have your salespeople go out and actually prospect for that information. So you've got, uh, as, a, as a company, you've got a changing regulatory scenario. You've got an expanding social use of information. You've got more drugs coming out and more adverse events that are being reported. And you've got this kind of ever expanding problem that you have to deal with. And it's a perfect use case to apply artificial intelligence in because it allows us to be able to do the work that we need to get done dynamically with higher efficiency and with, uh, with what we call better signal noise detection ratios. Oh,